Look at this lovely beer. Isn't it nice? And what about this one? Ooh, beautiful. Mmm, tasty. You can get beer in all manner of places nowadays. From the shops, from the pub, from restaurants. Beer is everywhere, so it's no surprise that it's number three on the list of the world's favourite drinks. But take a closer look, and beer is intertwined with humankind from the very beginning. But to do that, we've got to go back. Back before the internet, back before the Industrial Revolution, the Renaissance, the Middle Ages, the Romans, and civilization as we know it. This is the history of beer. Our story begins with our oldest ancestors. The thing is though, we can't be certain which ones. These ancients would have known about one of the earliest forms of intoxication, fermented fruit. Fruit, as we all know, gets ripe and then it goes bad after a while. But before it gets too bad to eat, naturally occurring yeasts will get at all the sugars and do their thing with them. When yeast eats sugar, it produces a few byproducts, one of which is the magic chemical that we find in beer, alcohol, or to be more precise, ethanol. Now throughout the ages, our ancestors and animals have always had a kind of a thing for fruit and it wouldn't be too long before we put two and two together and figured out that if you had a certain fruit at a certain ripeness, it would give you a bit of a buzz after a few of them. So our first encounter with booze probably wouldn't have been drunk, but eaten. But us humans, we're an inventive lot and soon we would get tired of wandering around as hunters and gatherers. Ever inquisitive, even way back then, we realized that we didn't have to go running after food, we could make it come to us. And instead of running after things, we could stay in one place. So agriculture was born and the seeds of what we know today were planted, both metaphorically and physically. And with that came beer. All this was happening before we'd invented writing. So any knowledge about how to brew a beer was passed down orally or by training someone to do it. So sadly, we've got no written record of when the first ever beer was created or how we even worked out how to make the stuff. We don't know who figured out how to mash, ferment and brew a cracking beer after a day in the fields. But as I said, we are an inquisitive lot and now today we have the means to narrow it down. Now, of course, we don't just find ancient bottles of beer lying around in a cave that's been hidden there for aeons. This isn't like the Dead Sea Scrolls, more's the pity. But what we do find is what we left behind. Pottery, remains, tools and so on. Testing all this stuff with modern methods, we can ascertain what was inside this pottery. And we found evidence of beers from times long gone. But I know what you want to hear. What was the first ever beer and who made it? Well, while we can't say that they invented it, archaeologists discovered that the Natufian people that inhabited the ancient Middle East have given us an idea about how far back we need to look. These folks are really interesting because the evidence we have about them shows how they went from hunter-gatherers to settling down and creating farms. In 2018, archaeologists from Stanford University went investigating caves in the area and found burial sites of these ancient hunter-gatherers. Some of them had been buried with their tools, more specifically, mortars for grinding up stuff, and these tools had been sat there for millennia. Samples were sent off to the lab for testing, and what they got back was not the results they had expected. These tools were in fact used for making something, but not what they thought they'd been used for. You can guess what they were used for. Beer. The team had actually discovered the earliest known brewery, which means that the first ever beers could have been brewed from 13,000 years ago, made by these hunter-gatherers who hadn't yet started to settle down. In fact, this discovery caused quite a bit of interest as it muddied a question that archeologists have been trying to answer. Why did we decide to switch to agriculture and growing crops? There are two options, to make bread or to make beer. Previous digs had revealed ancient bread from 14 to 13,000 years ago, again with the Natufian people. So it looked like the answer was going to be bread, but now it might have been beer all along. We know these ancient folks were brewing beer, so the next question we've got to ask is, what was this first beer like then? Well, it was absolutely nothing like a craft IPA or a keg lager, as you can imagine. The data that the research team recovered even gave them an idea about how it was brewed, and they were able to recreate this recipe from their samples. And they even decided to brew up a test batch to see if they got it right. The beer was actually successfully recreated using techniques 
that we use today. They malted the grain, they created a mash, and then it was left for airborne yeast to find and get chomping on all that lovely sugar. The end result wasn't exactly a drink, it was more something like an alcoholic porridge. And just like today, beer was an essential element in the Natufian people's lives. They consumed it with meals, and they used it in rituals. In this case, the beer that had been discovered was part of a ritual to honour the dead, showing that for these folks, beer and religion were intertwined. It's strange to think that our ancient ancestors were raising a toast to those that had gone before them, much like we do today. Soon, humans would start to settle down, and settling down means a steady supply of grain, and we all know what that means. It would, in fact, be quite some time before we began to form civilization as we know it, but we do know that before we began to build city-states and start to record all of our beery exploits, we'd been passing down the means to make beer, and this wasn't even localised to one group or area. Evidence has been discovered of folks in Neolithic China making boozy beverages with what they'd got on hand honey, rice and fruit, and this was way back in around 7000 BCE. At about the same time, there's evidence that wine was being made in what is modern day Iran. And so the story of beer begins. The first steps towards the many and varied types that we see today taken so long ago. It would be quite some time before we began to brew anything like we get today, but the journey had begun and there was no stopping now. Eventually, we'd create the means to preserve the best recipes so everyone could enjoy the same beers over and over again and we'll be exploring that next time. But until that next time, go grab yourself a drink, raise a toast to those who created it, and keep asking questions.